Hello friends, welcome to educators.com. I am Preeti Rathi. In last video, we have learned about history of C language, importance of C language and we have seen first C program. Now in this video, we will check out fundamentals of C language. The topics which we are going to cover are alphabets, digits and special symbol in C language, variables, keywords as well as constants. In constants we have three types, integer constant, real constant and character constant. Then we will talk about printf and scanf function which are used for input output in C program. These are the alphabets, digits and special symbol which we can use in C programming. Alphabets has capital A to Z as well as small case A to Z. Digits has 0 to 9 and the special symbol which you can see in this PPT. Now what is variable? It is an entity that may vary during program execution. Basically, we, are, we can give a name to the memory location using variable. Now, there are some rules to give name to the variable. The variable name should be combination of 1 to 31 alphabets, digits or underscores. First character must be alphabet or underscore. Digit is not allowed. Commas or blank spaces in between are not allowed. No special symbol other than underscore can be used. Means we can use only underscore in the name of variable. Now these are the keywords of C language. Now what is keyword? Keyword are the reserved word which has a specific meaning provided by the compiler or, or the language. Now this keyword has a restricted and are the restricted word which cannot be used as a variable name. These are auto, break, case, care, const, continue, default, do, double, else, enum, extern, float, far, for, go to, if, int, long, near, return, short, signed, static, struct, switch, union, unsigned, void, while, type def and register. These all keywords we will check out slowly later. Now constants. There are two types of constants we have. Primary constant and secondary constant. Primary constants are integer, real and character. Whereas secondary constants are pointer, array, structure, union and enum. This secondary constant we will see in other video but right now we'll discuss about the primary constants. Integer constants. Now integer constants must have one digit at least. It must not have a decimal point. Means integer constants is without decimal point. It can be either negative or positive. If sign is not given then by default it is positive. Commas or blank spaces are not allowed. Integer constants range from minus 32768 to plus 32767 for 16-bit compiler. Then real constant. Real constant must have one digit at least. It must have a decimal point. So the value with decimal point is a real constant. It can be also negative or positive. By default it is also positive. Commas and blanks are not allowed. These are the example of real constant. Then next we have character constant. It is a single alphabet or special symbol. This value should be in a single quote. A with single quote is a valid character but we cannot give A with double quotes. Now what is a data type? Data type defines the type of data which can be stored in a variable. 
for integer constant we have int short and long for real constant we have float and double for character constant we have char for input and output we have function printf and scanf these are the function which are present in stdio.h header file the general form of printf function is printf format string comma list of variable similarly general form of scanf function is scanf format string and list of address of variables this format string can contain percent %f if it is a real value percent %d if it is an integer value and percent %c for printing character values now practically we'll check out how to use printf and scanf as well as how to declare the variables now as we have seen in last video first we have to include two header files that is hash include stdio.h and hash include conio.h these are the header file which has all important c functions now main is entry point of our application so we have to write the main function now here as we did in last session we can have clr scr to clear the screen this is a built in function which is present in conio.h then we have to declare some variable before calling this function itself the first statement should be declaration of variable now to declare the variable first we have to give the data type if i want to store integer value then i can give integer as a data type and then name of variable this name of variables should satisfy all requirement the rules for name of variable was it should it can have 1 to 32 characters then it should start with alphabet or sp underscore means i can have var as a variable i can have underscore var as a variable but i cannot have a digit and then variable you can see some error is displayed here so this variable name should not start with a digit then we will call clear screen to clear the screen then we can have printf to prompt end user to enter some integer value say enter integer value or i can say enter your age now this statement will be displayed on the console as it is to read that value we have to use scanf function in scanf first we have to give the format string as we have discussed for integer we have percent %d so we'll add percent %d and then comma ampersand and name of that variable here ampersand means address of var because whatever is entered by the end user that we want to store in a variable by the name var so we have to use ampersand var means we are saying that is the address of a, of that variable then to display that variable whatever is entered we will again use printf your age is now here again i can use percent %d as the value is integer and then we'll write the name of variable and the last statement will be get ch that is to just hold the console hold the screen now we'll compile the application errors and warnings are zero then execute it you can see enter your age is displayed here now if i will enter some age and press enter you can see that the output is your age is 10 so whatever we have entered that value is stored in a variable by the name var this is about if the variable is integer 
now in one statement itself i can read multiple variables for example suppose i have var and var2 then i'll ask for enter your age and flat number so if i want to store flat number in var2 so i need to give percent d twice then here i'll specify m percent var2 so first value entered will go at the address of var and the second value will go in a var2 here also we can display both the statement with one printf say your age is this and your flat number is percent d here we will write name of variable it is var2 now again we will execute this so enter your age and flat number is suppose 2 so this way we can get the output your age is 10 and your flat number is 2 this is about the integer value if we have value as float then we have to use percent %f instead of integer percent %d now same thing I'll convert into float if the variable is float then we have to give percent %f and percent %f this format string should be correct otherwise it will give some garbage output means if it is integer it should be percent %d if it is float it should be percent %f if it is character then it should be percent %c now if I'll execute this I can enter some decimal value and that will be displayed here that is your age is 1.200 and your flat number is something now if we want to read character value suppose I want to hold the gender so we can have say M for male and F for female so I'll have character gender as a variable now I'll make this as a enter gender here we have to use percent %c and ampersand name of the variable while displaying also we can display your gender is percent %c and here we can give the name of variable if I'll execute this now it will ask for enter your gender if I'll say F then it will display the same thing but again character is single character only we cannot add the whole value that will be the array of character so character can hold single variable in a single quote if I want to assign value directly to this gender then I have to use it in a single quote now if suppose I have assigned value directly and I want to display it then I will comment this two statement that is reading value from the end user and will just display it this back this slash indicates the comment if I will execute this I am getting your gender is F so this is how we can use integer float and character values so we have learned data types as well as variables now one more thing I would like to point out over here that whenever we install C before starting application we need to check out in options we have directories so just check out that this directories folder is pointing to the proper turbo C 
installed on your system means if it is in a C drive or D drive that you need to check out then only your application will work so this session will end here thank you